if we move on to another category, the IP, IP camera brand, D-Link. Um, tell us why D-Link is, is such a good, a worthy winner. What made them, what made them that good? Well, huge range. Yeah, range it's, of, uh, it's it's cameras. usually it's usually the range that cameras used to be. You know, people buy these to monitor their babies, right? Or, or sometimes they get it as security. But the thing is, it's always been grainy. Yes, it has <laughs> right? always. It's dark. You can't really see anything. And every time people put the footage up and you know, something that's happened, you can't really see anything out of it anymore. But sensor technologies have grown uh, much better now. Mm. Everything is at least uh, full HD. Uh, mm. You know, it's like a TV, it's sharper, you can see details. They can see in the dark, infrared and, and all those kind of things. Uh, storage is also better. You used to be able to, you used to have to just plug in an SD card and those were small as well and expensive. It's now cheap. Um, you can stream it on the cloud because your broadband is fast. Everybody has like 20, 30 gigabytes of, of data now, which you know you don't know what to do with. And and then to your question of you know why 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 D-Link as well, right? Yeah. So I think uh, part of that comes down to the heritage. So what we noticed was D-Link is very good in their uh, networking devices, like say their routers. And then some many years back, they used to sell NAS. Network, atta network attached storage devices, mm. and mm. they sold it very competitive. They were the the drive to get because they were so affordable and they work really well. Mm. Um, and I think that has resonated with people saying that you know they are value for money options. And uh, when they started pivoting to making more IP cam options, uh, people gravitated towards that again, and I think it has delivered. So I think that's why our numbers also say that you know people prefer. D-Link yeah. as their choice. And I think IP cameras now, the D-Link cameras now, you can just like stick it on the wall, right? Yeah, some, some of them. Yeah. There, there are a few options like that yeah. now, right? Yeah. So you don't, don't even need like professional setup, you know, you can just buy one, I just buy open one a box, double-sided yeah, thing, and just boom. stack yeah, yeah. it on a wall it's and, easy and to set it up on. on. Yeah. And, wow. and then Zach, you were saying that there's an external one as well these days? Oh yeah, people, people, I, I, I don't know. I, I, Singapore's a very safe place. But I, I've, I've left stuff outside that, that, you know, people haven't like stolen overnight. But wow. I guess, <laughs> but I guess um, you find a lot of people now looking for security and, and these like external cameras, they are good because they are also weatherproof. So again, it's, it's, you don't need a lot of uh, expertise in it. You go to a shop, you buy something, you can just stick it outside your house. I mean, like I said, security is not really a concern. So is this to monitor the Ninja Van delivery? I mean, what, what, why do they have this version for the homes then? Probably. Well, I don't know. You know <laughs> if I was living in landed property, I would, I would want. Landed property, yes. Landed right, property, right. I can yeah. see where this would come in really handy because you've got the garden in front of you a lot of the time. You never know what's going on. You want, and it's dark, you want that camera, you want nope. that security. But you see, I, I think BJ has a point here because especially last year, the whole of last year, right, we are so much into deliveries now. Yes. Food delivery, grocery yeah. delivery, everything we order, and, and sometimes they just don't come. <laughs> right? Sometimes they don't appear. And yeah, having a camera outside, it, it's one of those things because you, know, you have it on your phone, you're, you're wherever you are. Yeah. You can see no, whether they, they actually <laughs> drop it off outside. Or sometimes you can just actually talk to them because some of these cameras have two-way uh, mm -hmm. communication as well. So, yeah. you know, if they ring the bell, you can turn on your camera, you can tell them, okay, leave it in the little cup cupboard somewhere. Hiding. Yeah, if, if you want to maintain social distancing, you don't yeah. want that contact. Yeah. So yeah. it does come in handy in it more, does, in, yeah. in not, more ways not than just one. security. And yeah. you can do that remotely as well, say in your office, right? You can still check up. If you, if you were in your office, but you most likely <laughs> in your home, you know, in your underwear and just don't want to wear pants. <laughs> yeah, you don't, yeah, you, 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 you're in your underwear. Leave it at the door. I'll yeah. pick it up in a minute yeah. and check. Exactly. Okay, he's left. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So we've heard what our gentlemen on our panel have had to say about D-Link. What does D-Link have to say? Hi, everyone. I'm Jackie Chen, president of D-Link Southeast Asia. Thank you for voting D-Link a Singapore number one choice for IP camera brand five consecutive years by Huawei Zone Tech Award. Receiving this award is really an honor for us. To all dating fans and the supporters, thank you for your support over the years. 
at the same time appreciate how we are to host this Tech Award and giving us a chance to win the award. Dealing promise to provide you and your family the best product and the services to enhance your digital life together. Thank you.